Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I did some shopping today, guys. I was off for Good Friday. And by the way, happy Easter to everyone who celebrates. But anyway, I decided to take advantage of my time off. It was a beautiful sunny day. And earlier this morning, I watched a video from Vivian Carlene where she showed some new items at the Coach Outlet. And I thought, hmm not really doing anything today. Maybe I ought to go and check them out because there was something that she bought that I loved and I said, I have to get this. So here we are, I'm back. I got Tiger on my lap. He's just loving me being home. My boys always love it. Got a cup of coffee. These mugs were from Anthropology maybe two years ago. It was a special collection from Hotel Magique. And I am wearing the lipstick that I showed in my beauty haul earlier this week. This is the Christian Dior Actrice. It's the pencil and the lipstick. It's really bright, but I think that it's really nice for spring. So let me move on to the rest of the video and show you what I got. But before I do, let me just say, Coach Outlet is getting outrageous, okay? Prices for some of the outlet items have really skyrocketed from what they used to be. And I was really surprised how many bags there were. I think I spilled coffee on myself. Oh, well, too late now. I was really surprised how many bags that they had. They were really up near the $200 range and they were made for outlet. So let me just say that they did have some things on sale. They had almost nothing coach reserve, but there were two items that I wanted to look at while I was there. One was an adorable top handle bag. I don't remember what the name of it is, but it said mini and it turned out to be micro. It's a really teeny, teeny, tiny size, about the size of one of the Rogue 12s. And when I saw how tiny it was, I didn't want it because I knew it wouldn't hold my phone and I had been hoping that it was a little bit bigger. But the item that I got is from a brand new collection. So let's check out what's in my bag and talk about it. Ready? This is a brand new silhouette from Coach Outlet. And you could see this looks very, very similar to the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch. I want to say it's, I don't have a toiletry pouch. I never got one of those. But this is about the size of the toiletry 19. And it does come with this removable gold strap that you can wear crossbody. I tried it on in the store. It fits really well crossbody. And it's a really nice, substantial chain. I have no complaints with it, but you know, I have quite a collection of chains from Next Fashion, and I'd love to do a video at another time showing you some different chain options with this. But I really love the design, and Vivian Carlene bought one of these as well, and she showed it on her channel, and this is what really drove me to go and to see these in person because I wanted to see some of the other bags with this floral print. So it looks like these are Gerbera daisies and some little, I guess these are Marguerite daisies, these little tiny ones. But I just thought this was so, so pretty. Um, this looks like peonies here. And it's just a really beautiful print. I thought it was so pretty. And as my friend Yota has said, this looks like something that Gucci put out. And it does. It really reminds you of the Gucci blooms. I love how they have this metal tab here at the end. And you can see it has the coach horse and carriage. This is a really nice, well-made bag, guys. You have your coach hang tag, which I don't really care about. You have a nice leather zipper pull, really buttery smooth the zipper, and then inside you have a slip pocket with two compartments. So you have one in the back, and here is the Coach Care card, and 
this just says, you know, it doesn't say what this style is. I'm going to have to look it up and I will put it in the description box because again, I'm not familiar with this style. I think that this is something that's brand new. Possibly could be called the Jax. Jackson, I don't know. And this is in the khaki and multicolor. So you have your two pockets here, which you could, of course, use for credit cards. And I'm going to show you what fits inside because I already checked. My phone does fit, but I'm filming on my phone, so I'm not going to be putting that inside. But let's take my Michael Kors Mini, which used to be Micro, the tote bag, and let's see what fits inside. And guys, I've had this for just about a year, and I use this bag a lot, and it is in awesome shape. Look at that. There's no corner wear, no visible wear on this at all. And again, this is a bag that's been really well used. There's dust inside, but, you know, you're going to get dust anytime you have a bag that's open, and, you know, just, it's going to going to collect dust. Okay, so here is what's in my mini tote bag. And part of me, she's naked. I didn't put the puff on. Should have put her puff on this morning. Anyway, let's see what comes out of this bag, which is pretty roomy. I mean, you could see I have it pretty filled. It's really enough to hold your everyday essentials, but I want to just set this down next to me and let's see what fits in here. So first of all, can't go anywhere without my wallet and I have my little coach zippy wallet which I adore if you haven't seen that video I compared this to the Chanel zippy wallet and this is just a winner so that's going to fit which of course you don't need a wallet you could just use the card case the card slots but let's just do it this way so you get an idea of what the capacity is I have one of these Touchland hand sanitizers and the scent is white peach. That goes in just fine. I have my key pouch, which I'm sure you're all tired of seeing my key pouch because I've been using that key pouch for a couple of years now. I'm starting to get tired of it. I mean, it's Louis Vuitton, I understand, but I'm just tired of it. So here I have my key pouch that I put down here and it should zipper. We're going to see at the end. So my key pouch. My nasal spray, which sadly I am addicted to. So I'm going to put the zippy on its side. That's definitely going to save a little bit of space. Okay, so I have the zippy on its side. I'm going to put the nose spray in which is tall. There it goes. And then the only things that I have left in this bag are my lipstick and mirror, which I'm thinking now that this is probably not going to fit the mirror. I think that I would need to use my Chanel mirror, which is much flatter. Oh, it does go in and my lipstick, and now we're really just running out of space. So I'm gonna take out the mirror and just kind of live on a whim here. Hope that I have a mirror somewhere. So I put the lipstick in and there should be plenty of room for tissues. And in fact, this is a small pack and I'm just gonna put these in this little back pocket behind the card slots. Not gonna work, okay. So I'm just going to put it here in front of the key pouch and it's going to be a little bit bulky, but it zips. So it is packed really, really full. And I would suggest using the card holders or the card slots and not trying to stuff so much in, but it does fit in. It's a little on the heavy side, but not terrible. And yeah. That's what fits. But the best part about this, and what really convinced me to get it, is 
the gold strap, this gold chain is completely detachable. So you could take the chain off and just use it like a clutch or a makeup case. Especially, this is an awesome thing to take if you're traveling because you need a little clutch for dinner, no problem. Get it, tuck it under your arm and you're good to go. You need something to keep as a catch-all inside a tote, throw everything in here and you're good to go. You could just use it as a makeup bag, travel makeup bag, and put what you need for a weekend in here. There's plenty of room. So the versatility really made it worth it. So this bag lists four, and I'm gonna tell you what my receipt says. This bag was $99 and the alleged retail price is $250. They had it marked to, I think, $125 in Coach Outlet. And then there was a further discount on it. But what Coach Outlet has been doing is putting stickers, you know, the old fashioned stickers, you know, like you use with the, the price gun. They've been putting that on some of the items that they're marking down. And that price is just a couple dollars lower than their suggested retail price. And then if there's any additional sale, it's off of that, which is not the price that it was selling for. So instead of giving you a percentage off of what their real selling price is, they give you a percentage off of their fantasy retail comparable value which I think really, really stinks. And again, they're pricing these things really high. I mean, I do understand if this was a Louis Vuitton, this would have been $700 or so. I don't remember what the toiletries sold for last, but had to be somewhere around the six or $700 range, if not a little bit more. So do I believe that this possibly could sell for 250? Yeah, given that, it would still be like a quarter of what the Louis Vuitton would be close to. But you know that they're not selling this anywhere near there, and this is a $99 item. So I don't know if they think we live under a rock or we're just too foolish to figure it out, but that is what we do. But I'm really happy with this. I mean, this is a really, really nice item for what they're charging it for absolutely worth the $99. And in fact, this is similar to the chain that they sell for, I think 15 or 20. And it's a really, really nice gold chain. It's, it's just a beautiful, I guess, curb link. It's really pretty. And you could use this with many other bags, doesn't have to be coach. So you're really kind of getting like a three or, or four in one, I would say, cosmetic bag, crossbody bag, shoulder bag, makeup pouch, and clutch, five and one. Do the math, guys. It's really, really worth it. So that's my video for today. I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. I hope everyone has a peaceful Easter, and I will be seeing you next week. I have a couple of collabs coming up. I have a really neat unboxing that I'm looking forward to, and I hope to see you all there. Bye.